Small talks are so important in real life conversation. It helps you to build a closer relationship with the people around you, to make new friends, to sound nice and friendly. Just in general, it makes you feel more positive about the interaction you have with the people around you. So today, I'm going to take you through the most common expressions you can use in the daily life to make small talks. And I can guarantee you that they are real life language material not textbook sentences or made-up sentences, so you won't be embarrassed. So let's get started. Hey there, this is Yimin Lao Shi. Welcome to my channel. First, for the people who you are seeing on a daily basis, like colleagues, the small talks can be very casual and even mixed with jokes. You can start it with a compliment. For example, 你今天真漂亮,是不是有约会? You are so beautiful today. Do you have a date? 你今天真漂亮,是不是有约会? And uh, for the man, you just change 漂亮 to be 帅, handsome. So the sentence is 你今天真帅,是不是有约会? You can repeat after me to make sure that you can use it by yourself later. 你今天真帅,是不是有约会? And for women, you can compliment on their clothes, shoes, like this. 你的鞋真好看,在哪买的? Your shoes are very pretty, where did you buy them? 你的鞋真好看,在哪买的? Yeah, clothes, earrings, glasses, whatever, we like all that compliment. Or this one, 你最近是不是瘦了? Have you lost weight? 你最近是不是瘦了? This is a popular one with both men and women. 你最近是不是瘦了? If you don't want to make it too personal, you can make the small talks about the weather. For example, 今天好冷啊! Today is so cold. 今天好冷啊! And if the hot is 今天好热啊! Can you say it? 今天好热啊! You know what? You also can make it like a question. Like, uh, 你冷不冷? Are you cold? Just to show your care and concern. Notice that for Chinese people, when we greet or make small talks, we go directly to a very specific detail instead of a general question, how are you? We try to involve and engage with you right away talking about something specific in that moment, in the situation you are both in. This is either for the listener because you just need to answer it instead of thinking of a word topic to bring up. A typical question is 吃饭了吗? or 吃了吗? which we mentioned in our previous video. This is a very natural way to make small talks between the colleagues around mealtime. Have you eaten? Done with the lunch? Another common way to make small talks is passing the news or gossip. This kind of sentence always starts with 听说 I heard that, or 你听说了吗? Have you heard? But make sure to stick with a harmless gossip that doesn't hurt anyone. It's just to make small talks. For example, 我听说这个周末我们要加班. I heard that this weekend we have to work extra hour. Wait, that does hurt someone. It hurts everyone. Ah, forget about it. Just remember this kind of sentence start with 听说 or 你听说了吗? That is the structure. You decide what kind of news or gossip you want to pass. And next phrase is for the scenario when you have a date or meet someone, which happens a lot in our real life. Again, just go directly to the very specific detail regarding the listener, so they will feel that they got your attention. For example, when your date arrived, you can ask 路上堵吗? Was there a lot of traffic? To show your care and concern. 路上堵吗? Or you can say, 你怎么过来的? How did you get here? Like by bus, by taxi, by subway. That makes you sound very thoughtful. And at first, the conversation will follow up naturally. And if you arrive there after your date, you can start with, 不好意思,让你久等了. Sorry for keeping you waiting so long. 不好意思,让你久等了. Be very thoughtful and polite. Okay, now let's see small talks between friends after not seeing each other for a couple of days. Now, a lot of my audience already asked me this question, so here's the answer. You can use this phrase. 好久不见. 
long time no see， 好久不见。And、uh, if it's via texting or talking on the phone， then you can say 好久没有你的消息了 ，long time without your news， 好久。没有你的消息了 ，and then you can ask， 你最近怎么样 ？How have you been lately？ 你最近怎么样 ？Or you can make it more specific, personalized, depending on the job or life of your friend. If he's a businessman, you can ask， 最近生意怎么样 ？How's business going lately？ 最近生意怎么样？ And if he or she is a student, you can say, 最近课多吗 You have a lot of classes lately. 最近课多吗 A more general question is, 最近忙吗 Are you busy lately? 最近忙吗 Or 最近忙什么呢 What have you been busy with? 最近忙什么呢 And for really good and close friends, you need the following sentences. This one. 家人都好吧 ？The family is all right. How's the family? Because you know, family is the most important. 家人都好吧 ？Another one. 你父母身体都好吧 ？I think this one is very unique in Chinese because literally it means your parents' health condition is okay. How are your parents? Since in Chinese culture, taking care of the parents is a very important moral duty and responsibility. So if you care about your friends, you care about his parents too. 你父母身体都好吧 So if you have close Chinese friends, next time use these phrases. I'm sure he or she will be impressed and will remember it. Last but not least, how to make small talks with strangers. Personally, I normally don't initiate a conversation with strangers, but I know a lot of people want to know this because some audience already asked me this. So to make small talks with strangers, just remember to not make it too personal because you just meet. So just start with talking about something that both of you are experiencing in that moment, like when you are waiting in the line in the airport or the bank. You want to chat a little with the person beside you, so you can start with something like this. 好多人啊 ，so many people. 好多人啊 ，it's like the thing I mentioned in my previous video. We like address the obvious. So there are a lot of people, and you just comment on it to start a conversation. You just point it out. So many people. 好多人啊 ，and then he or she will reply it. Remember, no personal questions. Just something is going on in that moment. Like、uh, 你等了多久了？ How long have you been waiting? Me already half hour. Then you will start the conversation. Places people need to take a number to wait. You can ask, 你是几号 Which number are you? 你是几号 Something like this. There you go. That is the most common phrases to make small talks, which I think you definitely need in real life. And I guarantee you, they are real life language. So you can just go ahead and use them. Now I want to set up a homework for you. Try to think how to answer all these questions. And if you have any doubt, you can leave me a message on the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. I'd like to hear what kind of things you like about my videos and what kind of things you don't like. All that I would like to hear it. So tell me about your opinion. So next time we're going to talk about how to address someone properly in Chinese. If you're interested, also let me know by leave a comment down below. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Yimin 老师 See you in next video. 再见